What are some good Suicide Awareness Month activities to participate in? If you'd like some ideas, then you need to watch this video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mike Vini, and if you are new here, welcome. I regularly publish brand new videos, so I invite you to subscribe so you don't miss this opportunity. Before we go any further, I just want to make it clear that this video discusses suicide. Although I am not a mental health professional, I am committed to assisting you in finding the necessary care and support for your mental health needs. So if you are in crisis or if you are experiencing thoughts of suicide or self-harm, please seek help immediately. Dial 988, that's the number we have in the United States of America, to contact the National Suicide Prevention Hotline where trained professionals are available to assist you. You can call, text, or chat to access the support you need. Your well-being is of the utmost importance and resources are available to provide the help and care you deserve. Before we go into the content of this video, I wanna share something with you that I decided to edit into the video after it was done. So this segment right here I put in after I couldn't do it before. The reason behind this video series around suicide awareness, about five weeks ago, I got the call from a friend that one of our dear friends died by suicide. And it's been a difficult five weeks. I'm grateful that I've got support around me and, and tools and I've been feeling my feelings and going through the what ifs and the, uh, you know, what, what could I have done better? And I mean, getting on myself because, you know, I, I, I do all this work in the world of mental health and, you know, how did I not know better? Just, just all these things I'm going through and, um, it's been hard. It's been hard. And I don't know what happened, but about a week or so ago, I said to myself, one of the ways that I'm going to heal is through recording videos and giving people content that will help them if they are struggling or have lost someone. And so part of the reason you're seeing this video is because this is healing for me. So I appreciate you watching it to be part of my healing journey. And I hope you get something out of this content. One impactful way to participate in Suicide Awareness Month is by joining or organizing a local walk. Walks such as the Out of the Darkness Community Walks, organized by the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, unite communities and provide a space for people to talk openly about suicide and mental health issues. It's a powerful way to remember loved ones lost to suicide, support survivors, and raise awareness as well as funds for suicide prevention. Another activity is to participate in or host educational workshops or seminars. Throughout September, numerous organizations offer workshops that cover a variety of related topics, from understanding the warning signs of suicide to learning how to talk about it effectively. By educating ourselves and others, we can break down the stigma and encourage individuals to seek help when they need it. Participating in social media campaigns is another substantial way to contribute. Many organizations run specific campaigns during September, aiming to reach individuals across the world. Sharing posts, infographics, and videos like this one right here can help spread vital messages about suicide prevention. And it's something we can all do with just a few clicks. We can also show our support visually. Wearing a ribbon, particularly a purple and teal ribbon, is a simple way to show support for suicide prevention. It can also be a great conversation starter, giving you the opportunity to share why suicide prevention is important to you. Additionally, volunteering your time or resources to local crisis centers or mental health organizations such as the National Alliance on Mental Illness can have an immense impact. These centers often rely on the support of the community to run their services, and there are many ways to get involved, whether it's through direct interaction with those in need, fundraising, or behind-the-scenes support. And let's not forget the most crucial activity you can do, reaching out. If you know someone who might be struggling, make it a point this month to reach out to them. Sometimes just knowing that someone is there and cares can make all the difference in the world. In observing Suicide Awareness Month, 
let's all pledge to be proactive in our communities, whether it's by hosting an event, participating in one, or simply talking about it. Every action, no matter how small it might seem, contributes to a larger change, a future where we can reduce and hopefully eliminate suicide. Your voice, your actions, and your willingness to stand up for those who might be struggling in silence can save lives. Let's use this Suicide Awareness Month as a stepping stone to further our commitment to preventing suicide, together we can make a difference. Thank you for watching this video. I truly hope you got something out of it. If you did, please click that like button. Also, please share this video with anyone who may find it useful. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Your support means the world to me. I'll see you in the next video.